the two shall become one. And see, that one is meant to live in harmony, not just with each other, but in harmony with Jesus. So that Jesus is in the midst of the marriage union. He's in the midst of their intimacy together. Come on, guys, intercourse is more than just a physical act. The two become one more than just in the flesh. It's a spiritual union together. It's what God always meant for it to be. This is why God designed it to be between one man and one woman, that the two would come and be unified back together again. God creates Adam in his image. Adam is is all of the image of God is in Adam. But then he goes and he creates Eve. And all of the image of God is inside of Eve. And then God's design is for those two to come together to create a perfect image of who God is. Male and female. Because only the two of those can create a union that looks like God's nature, God's character, and God's attributes. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for her. He who So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. See, this is where us men, we're like, we, we, we get a little sidetracked. Because men do love themselves. And there's a certain place in our lives where we're supposed to love ourselves. Love your neighbor as yourself. But there's this thing inside of men that we have to wrestle with sometimes. That it's, it's tempting for us to love ourselves a little too much. And when we love ourselves a little too much, it comes at the cost of our families. It comes at the cost of our relationships. It comes at the cost of our children. And this is why Paul is giving us this command and he's instructing us, love your wife as your own self. Love her as you love your own body. Nourish her. Take care of her. Fight for her. For no one that ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes it, cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. Church. 